can see the rather large grand organ there. We have on the floor here many memorial stones. This one dates back to 1683. Can't quite make out what the figure is. It's possible there may have been a brass in there. I don't think so. And here we have two others. One is dated 1688 and the other one is dated 1696. And we have a rather grand one here. Here lies a Honourable Dixie Windsor. What a great name. Who departed this life on the 20th of October in 1743? What a great name, Dixie Windsor. Great name. <laughs> we also have another one here. Uh, the body of the Reverend Isaiah Turnbury. B.A. Vicar of the Parish, and that dates back to 1788. I do like the ends of these, they're rather nice, aren't they? Again, you will always understand the history of these churches and the fact that, they, that they've been here for hundreds and hundreds of years. Truly quite amazing. Let's take a wander over here, because I haven't been here yet. We have a memorial here, as we do in most of the churches, to the men and women who gave their lives, both in the First World War, 1914 to 1918, and also 1939 to 1945. Nice to see that they're always remembered. And as they say, should never be forgotten. I've just noticed this here, and I have no idea what it is. And it's some type of squint. Well, I would have thought so. Oh, I don't, yeah, it would have been a squint. But it seems rather low for a squint. It's a bit strange. Again, here's the Mother's Union banner. What I have noticed, also, there's quite a lot of graffiti in this church. And some of it dates a long, long way back. Look at these old pillars. Look at these. Well, when they were put in, they were put there to last forever. There's a lovely, pretty stained glass window here on my right hand side. So as you can see, we have tulips out at the moment. Mother and child. Rather nice. Let me show you this graffiti that I've spotted down the back here. There's some of it, well, there's quite a lot of it, which is strange. You don't normally come across this amount of graffiti. But on this entrance here, which is the tower, on these walls, we have all sorts of graffiti. We have JB, who dates back to 1844. And we have someone there. Um, can't quite make their name out. JM, we have one here. This dates back to 1684. And W, this uh, must have been lovers back in the day. W and A. 
they date back to 1836. There's quite a lot of graffiti on this. Most unusual to see that amount. And also, on the other pillar, uh, to give you some idea, very crusty. Whoops. Now, I can't quite make the date out on this. It looks like 1909. No, it's 1809, I believe. But that's quite large. This is quite a large church, this. The door that has been blown back and forth by the wind. We have some more memorials here on the wall. And this one is to Elizabeth Lane, daughter of Ralph Lane, and that dates back to 1717. And here we have what's known as a banner cupboard. And when they had parades, etc., they would have kept all the banners in there, which would have probably been some type of guild, the Butcher's Guild or the Shoemaker's Guild. And that is rather grand, isn't it?